Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome back to the Lazarus Project. This is episode 12 and you can see we have a home game against Mansfield. Um, I make one significant change to the squad. I start Armstrong instead of Raziak. Um, I then contemplate taking Raziak out of the team completely. But then I decide instead of putting Adjamang on the bench, I'm going to put Ashley Harris on the bench. Because I know he's a good player, but I very rarely actually use him. Um, on my test career that I did before this, I used Harris quite a lot. He's got very good pace. He's pretty good at free kicks as well. Um, so I don't really know why I haven't used him as often in this series. Maybe it's because I've had Nimli and Armstrong, whereas normally I only bring in one other lone striker. And then I also use Harris as both a winger and a second striker. Um, but yeah, he's on the bench this time. I do bring him off the bench during the match, but I don't think we actually see much of him playing. So, uh, spoiler alert, he does come off the bench, but I don't really show it in this video, I don't think. I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do at all. He comes off the bench very, very late in the game. Um, slightly longer episode today. Nearly seven minutes long. Not a great reason as to why. Is There's a few more things to show. Um goals, substitutions, lots of replays. For some reason the game decided to throw a ton of replays at me today. Uh, looking at the table, we are currently a point ahead of Cheltenham. I had a draw, another draw, between the Berry match, which was in yesterday's episode, and this game. It was a two-all draw, and I can't remember who it was against, but it wasn't a very good result for us. Uh, so I was looking to bounce back from that. Two consecutive draws. We lost the five-point lead that we had over Cheltenham. It's now only a one-point lead. So we really had to pull our fingers out here. Uh, and also another spoiler alert. Cheltenham won their game the same time as we were playing this one. So uh, unless we we don't win, the gap remains a point. I'm not giving away what the result is. So we come to kickoff. You see Nimley and Armstrong standing over the ball. Comes out to uh, uh, Wallace on the right-hand side. He knocks it back to uh, Mateo Kill. That's what I'm going to call him now. Great little one-twos there. Wallace with a fantastic ball over the top. Armstrong gets on the end of it and straight from kickoff. I think it was only f five or six passes from kickoff. Uh, we take the lead with Adam Armstrong. Fantastic team goal as well. Wallace was the pinnacle of this attack. Obviously, Armstrong scoring the goal was also very good. Um, but Wallace got the ball out wide straight away, back to the right back. Kept running through, Armstrong passed it out to him, first time ball back over the top, fantastic finish. Uh, and keep an eye on Armstrong because he has some key roles to play in this game as well. Including this little 1-2, oh no wait, sorry, wrong attack. That was a shot from a Zogue. Um, although there is another shot coming up from a Zogue where Armstrong does play a part, so uh, another spoiler alert. Right, so the Mansfield defence pick up the ball. Barcham has other things to say about it. Block shot there. Nimley tries to win the header there. Just about fails. And it comes back to Wallace. And that is a very, very good effort from Jed Wallace. You can see here, this is where the replays get thrown at us. We have one replay. You can see it's not far wide. The keeper was worried. That's the second replay. Here comes the third replay. And we'll see from the fourth replay, which is coming up now. That is a very good first touch from Wallace to bring the ball out of the... Out, uh, out of the air like he did and it was a good effort good curl on it just a little bit too wide right Armstrong I said he'd become a, a key part of the game and here it is here's the one two I was talking about with him and Azog and it was another good snapshot from Azog just caught the ball a little too good pulled it wide but again another really good effort and another good ball from Armstrong and if you want to see good balls from Armstrong here comes one now Wallace on the ball, inside to Armstrong, makes this inside run and look at that for a through ball to Barcham who shows really good pace and power and look at that for a finish as well. What a goal from Andy Barcham and you see the pass from Armstrong outside of the right foot through the gap into Barcham's run. Just pinpoint, you could put a penny on the ground and not be able to place the ball on it any better than what Armstrong did there. That is a fantastic finish from Barcham. Hit it so hard the keeper didn't know it had gone past him. Look at this. Slow motion and it still looks like a real-time shot. Fantastic goal. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the team at the moment. Two fantastic finishes. Um, I keep saying the word fantastic, but there's no other word for it, really. 
just sensational performance outrageously good Armstrong again I have to sign this guy from Newcastle because he is something else he really is scores the quickest goal I've ever scored on FIFA and then sets up one of the best assists I've ever played on FIFA just fantastic you can see there he went into half time 2-0 up um, do I have to use the F word again fantastic first half performance uh, you see Armstrong again getting on the end of this pass from Nimley another quick 1-2 just got the shot wrong that time unfortunately defender with a poor clearance but Nimley's first touch was also lacking um, and then that's basically it you can see that, I think that was Harris there who had the ball at the corner flag but um, we couldn't really do much with it at this stage Mansfield sort of sat a bit deeper in the second half made it a bit harder for us to make attacks and score and then there's the whole thing of the substitutes kill the game as well and it ended up with you see here they've basically got their entire team back in the box defending we're trying to break through and get a cross in but that was it that was the end of the match full time 2-0 win again two fantastic goals um, and I'm looking forward to the next game which of course you will see next Saturday but until then guys thank you very much for watching and until next time I will see you soon